Hello, my name is Chris Coppoletti, and uh, welcome to this little precursory introductory video before I hop into the time lapse, um, just explaining a few things. So whenever I do a master study, I like to use one painting layer just to emulate the you know real canvas. S since you don't have all of this stuff to work with, um, I do add a few afterwards just to adjust a few things and um, make some color tweaks and uh, finishing touches, but those are all non-painting layers for the most part. Um, next thing you want to do is use textured brushes, which I have right here. I'll provide a link to these in the description. They aren't my brushes, but they are a compilation of a lot of ones that I like, and um, I've modified most of them to suit my needs. And then, if you're really experienced and you want a challenge, then you can use No Undo, which is even more similar to um, traditional painting. Um, so. Next I'll show you how to set up the actual reference and painting side. Okay, second step you want to do is get on Google and then search up either painting specifically or just a, a genre of painting. Like this one is an impressionist uh, painting by Winslow Homer called Eight Bells. Um, what I did was just get the highest resolution I can with the best colors. Um, this one is a little bit overexposed, but um, it should do fine and you can adjust the colors if you want to um, beforehand but um, in order to set this up you're gonna wanna select everything and then just control C and then hit new and that's gonna copy the dimensions right here for you whenever you uh, make a new image and instead of just keeping it at that default um, size I'm actu actually gonna upscale it to about 2000 that's just going to let the textured brushes give a lot more grit to it. And um, you can zoom out and zoom in using control plus or minus. Um, but I'm going to switch over here. And you want to have this one selected, uh, or active, I should say. And then you're going to want to go up to here and do two vertically. And that's going to put it on the left side, uh, whichever one is primary. And then once you have this, then you can just switch back and forth, start drawing whatever and uh, you should be good to go.